my biome mostly died after a month. It's still going, but here's what happened. One of the things that I find interesting about the biome, you notice that it's in the sun now. The reason it's in the sun, uh, the, a lot of the plants died. Unfortunately, my movers put the biome right on top of a heater. So the the biome mostly died. The, the two are two animals, the the spider looking animal and the um, slug are still alive. So, uh, but you'll see this piece, this one grass and there is very sparse other plants. There's a leaf of something. Uh, there's another piece of grass there. I'm trying to put it. Uh, and then there's a leaf growing. Let's see if we can get it focused good. There's a leaf growing right there. In there. And then there's one, one strand of grass there. Okay. So. One of the things that I found interesting though. You'll notice that. And it's hard to see because of the the sun, but it's important that it be in the sun for this fact. You'll notice that the glass is wet, which is which might feel strange. The fact that the glass is wet in the sun, um, which means that it's hotter. Normally during a sunny day, it's drier outside, right? So why is it that the glass is dry? when the sun is down and then suddenly the sun comes up and the glass is wet. So the reason is that when the sun is down, the biome is actually cooler. It's actually the room temperature. But when the sun shines on it, the sun heats up the interior of the biome and some of the water goes on to evaporate. The glass though, because it's letting the, air, the sun in, the glass is actually cooler. That's the reason why at night, when you go to your car, you may notice that your windows are clear. And if you go to your car during the day, your windows are also clear. But in the very early morning, your windows are foggy. The reason is that the sun heats up the ground the water on the ground evaporates and then it condenses on the next cold object it gets to, which is your car windows. That's how the water cycle is run in this biome. That's the one month update of, of the biome. Listen, you could have been anywhere on YouTube and you decided to spend your time with me. And I, and I want to let you know that I really do appreciate that. Um, I do ask that you subscribe to this channel because it does open up a lot of other features. Once a person gets to a thousand subscribers, they can interact with viewers more freely. They can put ads and I really don't want to put those really super intrusive ads into videos that stop the video halfway when you're trying to watch a video. I But I do plan on putting ads at the end or the beginning of, of videos just so that you know I can afford making more videos and putting out more videos that actually uh, allow viewers to learn from my videos. So talking about doing a question of the day type of thing. And th that's really one of my big plans. And I really don't plan on doing that until I get to a thousand subscribers so that I could actually do some, some really deep, meaningful interaction with you guys. So if you do did spend time with me, I really do appreciate that. Do subscribe, hit the like button, and, and let me know how, what you thought about this video uh, and if you want to see more like it. All right? Thanks.